this morning's comments over coffee is, is relating to all the emails I get from students that ask me whether or not it's too late for them to start studying or to carry on with their studying. So I get a lot of emails and a lot of queries from students saying, Yvonne, you know, I stopped my studying because you know, of whatever and now I want to carry on, but is it too late for me to get my degree? Is it too late for me to get my qualification? I'm now 30 or uh, you know, even 40. Like, is it too late for me? Am I too old? And I think it's a, it's a, it's a valid question because you know, what we see around us, I think, and what, you know, what society shows us is that studying is for people who have ideal circumstances. You know, studying is for those who come straight out of school, go to university, study a degree. That's what we see. And you see my cat, Ninja? Is it annoying? Okay. So we see a lot of people who, you know, that, that seems to be the image that we, we think studying is about, is, uh, you know, the full-time students straight out of school, etc., etc. And the reality is that that's not the case. You know, if you want to improve your life, if you want to do something, if you have a goal, you need to pursue it. Someone in their 30s, you know, they say, well, you know, I should have studied 10 years ago, so I've wa wasted or I've done other stuff or whatever the case is for 10 years, so now it's too late for me to go back. What I say to them is, you know, how much more of your life do you have left? If you assume that you're going to retire at 65, for example, you have 35 years left that you're still going to be working. So if it takes you five years to do your degree, you still have 30 years of working to take advantage of that studying, to take advantage of that degree. So the idea that you're too old because you're 30 or you're 40 and so your life is over is ridiculous, you know. Take a look at people who are doing stuff, you know, late into, um, late into their, their 50s, 60s, 70s. You know, the amount of people these days who are hitting their success and really getting you know, getting, building their empires and businesses and, and stuff, um, the idea that work or building businesses or being successful is for young people only is ridiculous. The world just doesn't look that way anymore, you know. Um, the, the world has changed so much in, in, you know, when, I suppose, like, you know, 20, 30 years ago, the idea was, you know, by the end of your 20s, you should be settled down, have a house, be married, have kids. Um, you know, and all your stuff should be sorted. Whereas these days, seriously unlikely that anyone's actually able to do that in their 20s because the world is just so expensive. People don't get married as early as they used to. The world has changed, you know, and, and we're a little bit slow in updating our labels, our understanding of what, what's expected of us. And, 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 and so what if that's expected of you? You know, if this is your life, if you took time off to have kids, I respect that. Um, you know, your kids are better off for, for, for having you around. Um, so that makes the world a better place, you know, and the, if, you, if you pursued another job, if you pursued something else and now you've come back, you've learned stuff, you know, you've gathered skills, you've done different things. Don't discount that. People are like, oh, I've wasted my time because I was working in a, a company or doing something else. You haven't. You haven't wasted your time. You've gathered different types of skills and you will find somewhere along the line that those skills come in handy. It's not, we always think it's the job title on the CV that makes the difference. You know, I was a bookkeeper and so therefore that's not valuable. No, it's not about that, it's about the skills, it's about the people skills, it's about, you know, the organizational ability, it's about working with others, it's about your leadership style, it's about who you are, um, your work ethic, etc. Think in skills, not job titles, you know? And don't think in, you know, don't think as though your life is over when you're 30 and you, you know, you, you're never going to become successful and it's too late now and what, you're just going to sit back and, you know, and leave it. I always say to these students, I always say to these people, imagine you're 65, you know, or you're 70 and you're sitting talking to your kids or your grandkids and you say to them, well, I could have gone back and done my studying in my 30s, but um, I thought I was too old. You know, can you imagine how laughable that would be <laughs> if you're 65, 70, telling, telling someone that you thought 30 was too old, you know? I, I'm, I'm, I'm 38 now, and, you know, we've just kind of started again. We've moved countries, we've, you know, we're building business, we're starting again, and I don't feel too old. You know, sometimes I look at it and go, I did not think that I'd be doing this at 38. I did not think that at 38 I would be starting again. I thought that I was supposed to have everything organized and everything sorted and settle down in a house. And, and, and I did do all that. But um, 
that's not what life's about. Or that's not what my life's about. And, 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 you know, and, and I've learned that. And 38 is not too old. You know, people, people are doing incredible things um, at every stage in their life. Don't limit yourself. So if, you, if you're worrying and if you're thinking, I'm too old, don't. You're too old if you think you're too old. You know, don't let that opinion or don't let your perspective or your, your idea that university or studying or whatever is just for young people, that's rubbish. That's absolutely rubbish. Making a success of your life is for you at every stage, at every age. And when you're 70, 30 is going to look like 20, you know, and 40 is going to look like 30. So, <laughs> so do it. You want to do it, do it.